Hello golfers, Jess Frank coming to you from the Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining me. I'm a 20 year PGA golf professional, love teaching this game, love helping you get better with simple, simple ideas from a system that I've been practicing with for over six years, almost seven years now. I was fortunate enough to meet Andy Plummer, Mike Bennett, and have them have a tremendous influence on my game. Got there through a good friend, Martin Hall, uh, another unbelievable teacher, and just have learned so much from so many different golf instructors. I've been blessed um, throughout my life to run into these wonderful people who have helped me tremendously with my teaching and how I can bring what they've taught me and bring it to you and just share it with you and and because not everybody gets a chance to work with uh, PGA Tour level instructors but definitely want to help you improve your game. So today what I want to talk about is something that I see on the driving range and see during my lessons that is a uh, is something that that really can affect your ball striking and and it's to me it's more of the um, spinning backwards of the hips the hips moving backwards in the downswing so as soon as you swing the hips go backwards and the arms break apart and and to me I'm a big believer in working on the front side of the arc so the front side of the, of the arc meaning the follow-through area after the ball working on structure working on where your weight goes working on where your hips go and so i use this drill with juniors all the time and it's a great drill makes it really simple and and what i like to tell them is i like to tell them take take your belly button point it to the target and point your right toe to the ground on the ground so so basically it looks like this belly button to the target point the toe on the ground and tap that toe. And so what that does is that extends my body, moves my weight forward without a lot of technical jargon that a um, you know young child or somebody who's learning the game, adults, makes it really simple to understand and has a huge impact on what they're on what they're trying to do. And you know to get into a little bit more of the detail, what happens is that you have a basically an extending of the body, extending of the hips, and then your weight's forward, okay? And what I see, like I said, what I mostly see when golfers play is that their weight goes back, their hips spin backwards, their weight stays on their back foot, and they're back here when they finish. If that's you, then this is definitely the video you should be watching. This is definitely the information you should be using. And please, when you start doing this, do it slowly. It's always the crawl before you walk. And if you can crawl before you walk and do this drill smoothly without trying to hit balls at full speed right away, it's gonna help you the most. So what I always say to people, okay, let's take the club in our hands. Let's only go forward to the target. So we have a good setup, good grip. This is all that's counting in the P1 area. Position one area is all good here. We're, our setup is good, our grip is good. Then from here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the belly button, point it to the target, and get the right toe for me, my back toe, on the ground. So we're gonna go belly button to target, right toe on the ground, and we're gonna add arms straight to this. So you can see that uh, automatically you're in a phenomenal finish through the ball through from P7 to P8 uh, position and so many people overlook this and this is a phenomenal training for most golfers out there and I, I wouldn't say almost all golfers who are looking to gain consistency you know good consistent strikes creating the same bottom to the swing so many people you get caught up in the back swing you get caught up in trying to you know, make this big turn, big backswing. And really, what's easy to see is in front of you. What's hard to see is what's behind you. So if you can get this part of the swing right, so we're gonna see belly button to the camera, right toe on the ground and arms straight. And this is gonna make it really simple. Look at my shoulders, my chest have turned, my hips haven't spun backwards. So my shoulders are at 90 degrees, and this is a video I did before called 90, 90, 90. That would help you as well, so you can link up to that one and see this as well, uh, or that video too. So, you know, again, the spinning of the hips backwards, 
the breaking of the arms backwards, how the right leg or the trail leg works in the golf swing, the extension, the banking of the right foot. There's just so many good things that if you just do this in the mirror, do it in a camera, watch yourself um, slowly do this. So again, from P1, the setup position, forward. I mean, it looks like any of the greatest players in the world. You have your, your, your nice tilts here. You have the, the club in a great spot. I'll do it towards the camera. Boom, just so simple. I'll do it from the back side on so you can see this because so many people, they fail to look at this angle. This is a fantastic angle from the trail side here, from the back side. Most people, hip goes back, weight goes back, spin the hip back, and this is what we want to do. So you can see this angle right here. Let me move a little bit further this way. Boom. So I go do it down the line. So you can see just by doing this, and then what you do is you start to add a small backswing to it. A couple feet back, you know, one or two feet back, you're gonna go just here, and then just build that structure in. What it does is so many good things. It also traces the arc. It keeps the club face from flipping around. You know, you're gonna hit solid contact every time. Your arms are gonna be in a good structure. Your weight's gonna be in the right place. You're gonna tilt correctly. It's gonna just make things so much simpler than trying to think about, okay, I gotta have my hands here, my arms here, this, that, the other thing. Work on the front side of the arc. Hit some little shots, small shots. Just little chip shots. And you'll be amazed to see what happens. Okay, just amazed. In fact, I've done a video um, just recently talking about the drill of P3, from P3 to P8 after the ball. But this drill really gives you the, the let's call it the belly button toe drill. Belly button toe drill. Boom, now look at where we're at. And it makes it so simple. This is great for juniors, great for beginner golfers, great for people who have a lot of stuff going on in their head, trying to hit at the ball, trying to lift the ball up in the air. Makes it super, super simple. So for sure, it's gonna do, it's gonna do so many different things. Number one, it's gonna help you keep a consistent bottom to your arc, okay? Consistent bottom to the arc. So not one time we top it, not time, one time we hit it off the toe, hit it off the heel, um, you know, uh, hit, it, hit it fat. This is a phenomenal drill for people who hit it thin and fat. It's really a good drill because it kind of syncs up what you're doing in your swing. And it also, and you could start the club right here. You don't even have to take a backswing. You could put the club just back, small part of the backswing here, just from, I would say, P1, to P one and a half maybe, right here. And then forward, here, forward. Belly button, toe, belly button, toe. And look at that. So now you're extending, tilting, and turning your body. Very simple, very easy way to play. So many people take these big back swings, try to hit the ball as far as they can, and they don't hit it solid. You have to remember, hitting the ball solid Hitting the ground in the same place every time is far more important than trying to hit it as far as you possibly can and one time hitting off the toe, one time hitting off the heel, one time hitting it fat, one time hitting it thin. I'd rather have those four shots solid, solid, solid every time than trying to, let's say, hope we catch it solid on a full fast swing. Now you're controlling the bottom of your swing. Now you're controlling the uh, direction or the curvature of the ball. Now you're actually probably gonna hit it further more consistently, there's that buzzword, consistently. You're gonna hit that more consistently every time because now you're gonna have a consistent distance instead of one time hitting the toe, one time hitting the heel, one time thin, one time fat because you can't gauge distances that way. So this drill right here, the extending, the belly button toe, the tilt, right here, it's just so good for you. So I highly recommend it. Please, please practice this. Get back to me, leave comments below. Let me know how it works for you. Spend time with it though. Don't just do it you know, for five minutes and think it's gonna work. Spend a week with it, spend two weeks with it. 
and just keep working on that little motion. And I promise you, it will help you play better golf. That's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. I'm here to hope, help you play better golf, have more fun on the course. And that's what I love. I love seeing that. I love reading in the comments and, uh, and, and hear people shooting lower scores. So it's really fantastic. So thank you so much. Please subscribe. Please turn on your notifications. Remember, this channel's free. You know, all I'm looking for is just positive feedback, positive comments, uh, letting me know how I can help you with your game. That's what it's all about. And again, you know, please a little shout out to my sponsor, a t Cleaners down in Fort Lauderdale. If you're in the area and you need dry cleaning, my man Ara, you know, is the definite man to go to. Check out the link below. Um, he's a super guy and, and just, uh, just definitely supporting local business here in this time of craziness. So again, hope this video finds you well. I love teaching this game. We'll see you soon. Thanks again for watching.